I'm kind of torn um, between a couple of things here. Like, I don't know. Part of me wants to read this, part of me doesn't. Um, hold on one second. Ugh. Okay, so today we're going to read um, an excerpt and a review of a book that I could not even finish because it was too much. I think it got good reviews. It's called The Wind-Up Girl. Has anybody ever heard of The Wind-Up Girl? Super duper science fiction. Say again, please. The Wind-Up Girl. The Wind-Up Girl. It's science fiction. It takes place in Thailand and it had this like dystopian novel after peak oil or after total environmental collapse on earth and so it depicts this dystopian hell all right so uh, hey rebecca hello how are you good good rafa hi Okay, hey, uh, Marcos. Hello. Hey, Ali PLT. Ali? Hi, hi. hi. I'm here. Cool, okay, so just Rafa. Rafa, are you there? Okay. So, first, everybody, let's get into Google Chat and then we'll start. I'm Narelle, for those of you who don't know. And this is an advanced class where we're going to read something together and talk about vocabulary, maybe pronunciation and critical thinking. Rebecca, can you read number one? Yes. Okay. Number one. W uh, please open your Google Hangout chat box by clicking on this button at the top left corner of your Hangout. Yeah, Verbling Chat will not work. Okay, Verbling Chat will not work. Yeah, top top left, see where my pointer is? Yes, it is. Okay, good. Marcos, please read number two. Marco. Okay. Students, type hello so the teacher knows you're able to view the Google Hangout chat box. We will be using it to record your sentences during the lesson. Verbling chat box will not work. Students on tablets will not be able to do this. Yeah, so let me know if you're on a tablet. Okay, Ali's there, Ruff's there, Rebecca's there. Good, okay, I just need to see Marcos in the chat box. Ali, please read number three and four. Okay. The teacher will go over vocabulary, phrases, and grammar from the reading and type definitions and examples in the Google Hangout chat box. Keep going, number four. Number four, Ali. Uh, students, please prepare examples sentence to speak during class for each vocabulary word or phrase discussed. Teacher will help you with proper grammar and use of it. Teacher will rephrase or correct sentence and pronunciation if necessary okay, and okay. type them in the chat box. Teacher yeah. may ask students to read the correct sentence. Thank you. 
Sorry um, for interrupting you. I kept on thinking it was done. Okay, good. Okay, Rafa, can you talk? Can I hear you? Rafa? I hope. Okay, yeah, okay. Checking. <laughs> good. Thank you. All right, so Rebecca, um, you're first, Rebecca. Why don't you read, uh, let's start with the first paragraph here. It's the book called The Wind-Up Girl. Okay, but it's not clear for me what is a wind-up uh, wind girl. Well, wind-up, wind-up toy. This is what they mean. Is this pressure one day? See, these okay, little toys. Yeah. So, in other words, this woman has been genetically engineered. She's like a robot. She's a human robot. Okay. Okay. It's a metaphor. Yeah, a metaphor. A metaphor. Okay. Perfect. Yeah, I got it. Well, the best and worst part of the wound up girl is the wound up girl. Emiko is an engineered human. Among other advertisers, she has great, greater than normal cellular protections against cancer, perfect eyesight, and an extended life span. But because her purpose is to delight others, she also has some fairly uh, aesthetic mod modifications, a reduction in the number of pores in her skin to make it smoother. For example, with the consequence that in the heat of 22nd century Van Gogh, where the wind-up girl is set, she literally overheads uh, unless she carefully limits her activity or is supplied with regular ice pack, packs. She's also sterile, sterile and to make her out less she blend in among normal humans, her movements, like those of all her kind, are well like a wind up doll. Jerky and not and not sure stutter stop flash ball stranger. Okay. Repeat. Advantages. Advantages. Engineered. Engineered. Protections. Protections. Lifespan. Lifespan. Yeah, so life and then span. So the span of one's life, in other words. Lifespan. Yeah. Delight. Delight. Aesthetic. Aesthetic. Modifications. Modifications. Reduction. 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 Good. Consequence. Consequence. Yes. Ice packs. Ice packs. Good. Sterile. Sterile. Okay. Yes. Okay, Rafa. Um, can you give me a summary? Uh, it's so delightful because an only setting in Bangkok in the next century. And um, Ermiko is a kind of new robot that tried to delight for everybody with a so smooth skin that it's so pretty too. And he has also a lot of advantages with against the cancer, she has uh, better protection than humans and has aesthetic modifications that uh, makes she looks better than a human. It could be so interesting to read about this book. Yeah, it's creepy. It was too creepy. I had to stop reading it. So good. Yeah, good, good, good. You got, you, you just did it very well. Just pronounce, repeat after me, Rafa, robot, robot. Rafa. Rafa, are you there? Okay, so Rafa might be having a connection issue. So, uh, so a better way to yeah. pronounce these words, robot, advantages, robot. advantages, yes, okay. So let me talk about some of the words here. 
Advantages are things that make it better. Advantages versus disadvantages are the opposites. Advantages are things that um, make something better. Disadvantages are things that make it worse. Um, aesthetic means like only for the purpose of visual beauty. Her aesthetic beauty. It's an adjective. Aesthetic, um, good for looks. Surface beauty. Pores in the skin. Those are the holes in our skin. Um, some of the, uh, sterile means that you can't have babies. Cannot have babies. Mm. Lest kind of is another word for less. Or sorry, unless. Less, unless. So that's sort of um, very. Less is sort of formal. We don't really use it in speaking. Um, wind up doll, jerky, unnatural, stutter, flesh. So she kind of moves like a robot, even though she looks better than a human, or she looks like a human only it's supposed to be better, but she kind of looks more fake. Okay, so modifications are changes. Upgrades. Modifications usually means improvement. Changes to improve something. Let's use modification in a sentence. My examples are as follows. Um, the new subway has many modifications, including trains that hover magnetically um, above the rails making for a faster, smoother ride. Okay, Rebecca, modifications. Everybody please prepare a sentence with the word modification in it and dictate the sentence to me when I call on you. Rebecca. Yes. Uh, uh, after some modifications, uh, I hope my dress will be will fit me will ah, fit me good very good after some modifications i hope my dress will fit me very good very good okay rafa i think he's having a connection issue marcos marcos Hey, uh, many modifications were made so that the previous problems would be solved. Many modifications were made so that the previous problems would be solved. Excellent. Okay, Ali, please make a sentence with modification in it. Uh, I want to. Uh, I want to some modification on or my car. I want to make. I want to make some modification on my car. Good. I want to make some modifications on my car. The, the words you can use are make some modifications to or on. Okay. Or to or on. So you're right. Okay, Rafa says, this new device has a lot of new modifications that are so awesome. Okay, good. Okay, so let's keep going. Asabara, I'll keep you, I'll put you in on the next round. So the next word that we're going to go over is jerky. Jerky, that's an adjective. Jerky is um um it describes it describes um Describes movements that are unnatural and not smooth and maybe like robotic, like uh, robotic movements. Like um, you can say, his walk was very jerky as he rehabilitated his knee. Or you can say, 
He is not a good dancer. His movements are too jerky for this kind of music. Um, you can also say, um, my, tr my car feels very jerky because something is wrong with the transmission. Okay? So let's start with Marcos this time. Marcos. <laughs> mm. Well, after the accident, he got a jerky walk. Um, he, after the accident, he got... Um, that's okay, but got is a very, very, like, slang word. It sounds very slang. Is that your intention? Yeah. After the accident. I mean, uh, it, it almost doesn't make sense. It, do, it sounds kind of weird. Almost after, or after the accident, he, um, uh, he was left with a jerky walk, you can say, or he ended up with a jerky walk, or even just he had a jerky, he had a jerky walk. All right. I, I think that's the most um, that sounds the most natural and the most neutral to say. After the accent, he had a jerky walk. Okay. Okay. So, Rafa, I don't know what monkeying around means. When I was monkeying around with that electrical device, it may it so keep it past tense. When I was monkeying, maybe you meant monkeying. Monkeying around with that electrical Monkey device, around. it made me feel jerky. You mean from the electromagnetic radiation? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh, good. So after, when I was monkeying around with that electrical device, it made me feel jerky. Good. Okay, Rebecca. Um... Um, he made a jerky movement and he fall down. Ah, so keep it, the tense is the same. Repeat that with the right tense. Choose past or present. Sorry, say again? You have two verbs in there. One was present, one was past. You need to keep them yes, both past. Yes, right. Present. So, yeah. He he made uh, a jerky movement, uh -huh. so he uh, fall down, fell. And broke, fell down and broke she the fell down neck. and broke her neck. Yeah. So he or she made a jerky movement, so he or she fell down and broke his or her neck. So, neck, wow, it's too dangerous. Just the leg. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so me and just, fell. just the leg. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, Ali. Yes. Uh, baby's baby's first step is gonna be jerk. Jerky. Yes. A baby's first step is going to be jerky. Repeat that. A baby's first step is going to be jerky. Excellent. Okay. Very good. Um, so let's see. Let's keep on reading. Rafa, can you read it uh, from here to there? Rafa? Yep. I'll try. Well, most importantly, most importantly, we are told this is needed for obedience. You people. Uh, uh, question. Uh. <laughs> I heard Japanese creator to be the idol assistant. She was discarded 
and now and is now capped by a wealthy Westerner and as amusement for himself and those who visit his establishment. Emiko is now a toy, a war, a slave. She's raped for the entertainment, the entertainment sorry, for the entertainment of others on a regular basis. She can feel the crowd's eyes on her, a physical thing molesting her. She's utterly exposed. Okay. This was probably why it was hard for me to read this book. So, yeah. Rafa, <laughs> please repeat after me. Obedience. Obedience. God. Engineered. Engineered. Serve. Serve. Genes. Genes. Intended. Intending. Good. Ideal. 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 Discarded. Discarded. Amusement. Amusement. Establishment. Establishment. Estab establishment. Uh -huh. Molesting. N molesting. Utterly. Utterly. Okay, so thank you. Okay, Marcos, tell me, uh, Marcos, tell me what what is being said here. Well, it tells a little bit about uh, what happened to her, like her, the purpose, how she was designed. She was designed to uh, to be obedient uh -huh. and to serve without, without questioning. Uh, so uh, that was uh, her creator's uh, intention. So she would be the the perfect uh, assistant. Uh, and then it tells that she was sort of discarded, not sure, and she was kept by a, a very rich guy that uses uses her for for amuse to amuse himself to have fun with her. She used her as a, as an object, like a, a toy and a slave. So, and he let others. Uh, use her as well. Yes, yes, okay, good, okay. Yes, more information about this poor wind-up girl. To be engineered, and you all know what an engineer is, created, scientifically yeah. created. Obedience, um, the, uh, the act of listening to somebody, to, the act of um, receiving authority without question, um, genes, that means genetically. Uh, she's been bred genetically for obedience. Um, ideal means perfect. Assistant is somebody who helps. Discarded means thrown away. We discard trash. Um, amusement means, you know, fun, like a, a toy. Establishment is his business. A, um, so she's a sex toy. Like a war is a prostitute, a slave. Well, she it sounds like she's a sex slave. Um, and the pr question here is like whether this is cruel and inhumane. Obviously, for uh, you know somebody who's been genetically engineered and created. You know, does she have feelings? Where is you know the human rights issue here? Uh, raped means sexually violated. Molest is. Um, it's uh, like sexual violation, but does not necessarily mean intercourse. Like molesting can be like fingering and touching without consent. Utterly is, let's see, utterly, I think utterly is like totally, Extreme. completely. Extreme. Utterly is completely and without qualification, absolutely. So utterly um, is sort of, um, we see utterly more for... We see it more in writing than we use it, but I kind of like it. It's almost like 
outright, absolutely. There's almost a form of like, um, there's almost like an emotional component to it. Like you can say, I was utterly and completely broke. I was, uh, I was utterly devastated by the death of my mother. Um, it is utterly broken. It cannot be repaired through couples counseling. Our relationship is utterly broken. So utterly means absolutely and completely. Okay, so Ali, why don't you use utterly in a sentence? What? Utterly in a sentence. Mm. Utterly. Mm. Uh, I want uh, to know English language utterly. No, not quite. So, um, why does that not make sense? Utterly broken, utterly. So that's okay. So it's a little bit. So I'm just trying to explain why that is not a sentence that would be understood. Hold on. Utterly followed by an adjective. Utterly ridiculous. Utterly beautiful. It's usually followed by an adjective that's very strong in emotion. Utterly horrible. Utterly uh, wonderful. Utterly at home in the water. Utterly at home in the water. Um, Utterly soaked. Utterly disgusted. She is utterly disgusted. It was so utterly beautiful. Yeah, like that. Exactly. It was so utterly beautiful. Yeah, like that. Exactly. Okay, so... I'm going to say that... Utterly, she moves utterly slowly. You know, it's just that it's it's not a common one. It almost always um, precedes a verb. Uh, sorry, follows the verb to be, and um, and describes an adjective. So yes, Ali, good. It was utterly beautiful. It was so utterly beautiful. Okay, Marcos. Well. Mm. That movie was utterly disappointing. Yes, exactly. That movie was utterly disappointing. Very good. That, so it, you mean like absolutely, it was so disappointing. It sucked. I want my money back. Yeah, so see how there's sort of an emotional feeling behind utterly? Yeah. Good. Rafa. Yesterday I was utterly upset. Arguing with my sister. Good. Yesterday I was utterly upset arguing with my sister. Very good. Okay, Rebecca. Um, she was utterly wrong, and even so, she kept on saying it. She was utterly wrong, but um, otherwise, but still, she kept on saying it. Very good. Exactly. Exactly. Good. Good, guys. Okay. So, next word. Um, obedience, ideal assistant, and discarded. Okay, discard. To discard. This is passive voice. She was discarded. Um, the active voice forum is um, the boss discards. The boss discards her when she is no longer useful as a slave. 
Um, I discard the rubbish at the trash dump. Um, the uh, a dog is a living, breathing creature, not a um, thing to be discarded with last year's toys. Okay, so let's use um, Rebecca. You first. Discarded. Discarded. Is is like a uh, rule out. To throw away. Yeah. To dispose of. Okay. Um, well, I um, the idea was discarded because uh, she didn't feel like that. But the idea was discarded because she didn't feel like that. Excellent. All right, Rafa. Jane was discarded yesterday from his applying job because she. Oh, wait, I didn't understand that. What? Huh? Okay, well, I guess maybe it's a connection issue. Okay, Marcos. Marcos. Mm -hmm. All those unused items were discarded by them. <laughs> All those unused items were discarded by them. Yes, I hate when that happens. But... Okay, Ali. Uh, if football player do fa fail it, he will discard it from the game. Um. Uh, if football players get too violent. They will be discarded from. They will be discarded from the game. Okay, good. You need to make sure that your subject. I mean, you have subject verb agreement. Okay, so you know your pronoun needs to agree. If football players get too violent, they will be discarded from the game. So repeat after me. If football players get too violent, they will be discarded from the game. <laughs> Ali. Yes, yes. Repeat. OK. All those unused items were discarded by them. No, your sentence. If football players get too violent, they will be discarded from the game. Do you understand? They? Yes. Okay, yes. Good. Thank you for that. Good. Okay. Um, okay. So let's keep going. Mm, who's? I guess um, Marcos is reading, right? Okay. Marcos, two paragraphs. Okay. Uh, Kanika grabs her again. She was disrobed now and has a jaded. Cough in her hands. She shoves Amiko down, pushing her onto her back. Hold her hands, she says. And the men reach out eagerly, grip her wrists. Kanika's fingers join the jade between Amiko's legs, play at Amiko's core. Amiko's chain builds. Again, she tries to turn her face aside. Men are guard, gathered around, close, staring. More crowd behind, straining for a glimpse. Emiko moans. Kanika laughs, low and knowing. She says something to the man and increases her tempo. Her fingers play in Emiko's folds. Emiko moans again and her body betrays her. She cries out, arches. Her body performs just as it were, as it was designed, just as the scientists in with their test tubes intended. She cannot control it, no matter how much she despises it. 
The scientist will not allow her even the small disobedience. She comes. Okay, so what? So sorry, guys. I'm, there is sex in this book. Let's keep um, let's keep reading, Marco. I know this is a lot of reading, but I don't want to end with just the sex scene for you. So keep going. <laughs> okay. The blood drumness of this scene, and the others like it. And it's quite clear that the continuing abuse and patriarchal nature of the social order is one of the problems facing Basigalupi's future is equaled in intensity only by Emiko's eventual angry rejoinder. Neither aspect is sensationalized to the contrary. The book ends up betraying us much as Emiko's body betrays her. Throughout the novel, we alternate between being invited to share her experience as above and being more made complicit with her explo exploitation when she is seen through other eyes. And in the process, we are directed to the heart of the wind-up girl. Okay. So this is a critique of this, uh, this scene here. So, okay, the person summarizing, Ali, can you tell me what you gleaned, what you got from that? Mm. Mm. I have no idea. Okay, no worries, no worries. Well, um, let's... Let's, uh, that's, it, it was hard. It's difficult. So actually, I'm going to ask each of you to summarize. Or I know that you, you all may not be able to get all of it, but uh, give, you can, I also welcome you to give me your um, impression of, of what you're reading. Do you have anything, anything to add, Ali? No, no. Okay, I'll come back to you. All right, Rebecca. Uh, it's too difficult. This part uh, is describing her uh, state, her feelings. Maybe I'm not sure. Okay. Okay. Anything else? What does uh, moms mean? Moms. Huh? Is is some um, is a uh, appears uh, some uh, more than one once. Mwangs. Emiko Mwangs. Emiko Mwangs again. Mwangs. No. So that's like in this Mwangs. case, that's like a sexual noise. You moan in like it's like a sexual sound. Moan ah. is to be like oh. Ah. Oh, it can also be like a sound of frustration, or or grief. Okay. People at the funeral were moaning and groaning. Well, maybe she's having uh, her um, her feeling about the situation she's uh, she's going through. Through. Uh, okay. 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 By the way, um, I'm I'm more interested in um your assessment of the second paragraph actually. Um, number, the first one, essentially she, this robot is being raped. She's not human, she's not fully human, she's not fully robot, and it's a rape scene. Um, but there's also a pretty valuable critique on the bottom. Do you have any, uh, anything to add about what you get from the second paragraph, Rebecca? So, sorry, Sam, please. Anything I, I else? I can't hear you very well. Anything else? Mm, no, I would like okay, to no worries. Okay. What about you, Rafa? Anything yeah. to add? Yes, I think, as the author says, it's a kind of narcissistic sounds or masochistic sound yeah. with a saddle in one hand that try to get everything about the girl, and the girl always is obedience. But uh, she has not anything to to give more than obedience, and the other guy is trying to grape, as you said before, what uh, to the girl. And there are a lot of science, uh, a lot of sense 
here with this kind of um, with this style and for this reason perhaps you don't like it and me neither too. Yeah. Okay. Good. 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 Very, very good. Good insights. Yes. All right, Marcos. Hmm. Well, well, it's a little creepy. <laughs> it's very creepy. I know. I know. Yeah. I, it got great reviews. This book, and it just, I just hated it. I hated it, but I'm a little bit. I'm just still interested in exploring it. Yeah. Well, but it's a. It's sort of a um, reflection the of the real society. Like, sorry. Wait. Hold on. Let me just check on the muting here. Hold on. Let me just mute Rebecca. All right. Sorry, Marco. What? Well, to me, it's sort of a reflection of our uh, current society, oh. like turning people into objects mm -hmm. for others' pleasure. Yes. So to me, they're sort of well hitting on that that uh, specific part. So they are just showing in a more grotesque, 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 grotesque way uh, how humans can be like so uh, wicked uh -huh. and and like I don't know uh, like animals yeah yeah oh very very good very good yes exactly okay so I'm gonna give a summary now so this is this is um, a sexual scene it's a rape scene where they're raping this robot and um, and the robot, the the wind-up girl, she um, orgasms without like feeling the orgasm. Like she has been computer, like physically, like programmed as a computer to orgasm, which is you know the physical response to sexual stimulation. Um, so blunt, blunt means open and direct. If you're a very blunt person, you tell people exactly how you feel and you don't consider how the, um, the words might hurt people's feelings. Um, wrongness, you know, wrongness being wrong, the, um, the narrator, the author that's reviewing this book here says the scene is wrong. Um, continuing obvious, again, blunt, obvious, direct, Patriarchal nature, so that means um, honoring only the patriarchy, the um, imbalanced masculine, um, male chauvinism, patriarchal, um, you ref here, let me get a, patriarchal. We live in a patriarchal society. All of, the, all of the cultures nowadays are patriarchal. A social system in which males hold primary power predominate in roles of political leadership, moral authority, social privilege, and control of property. Um, social order is, well, society that we live in, control, government, um, equal intensity, eventual angry rejoinder. I don't even know what a rejoinder is. Angry rejoinder. Let's look at rejoinder. That's a noun. A reply, especially a sharp or witty one. So this is a pretty formal word for a reply, rejoinder. Let's see, I'm not sure if we're going to use it. It's not common. I've never heard it in conversation. So sort of a reaction, like angry yeah. rejoinder. A sharp reply, a reaction. Usually, sometimes witty. A reaction, yeah. yes. My rejoinder to your insult left you scratching your head. Sensationalize, like sensationalism in the media, that make, that's like over-dramatizing it, telling it um, with exaggeration. To the contrary means um, the opposite. The book ends up betraying us. To betray uh, is to uh, um, like betray one's trust. Betray is um, to expose to danger, unintentionally reveal, expose to danger, or unintentionally reveal. I, I betray you. Judas betrayed Jesus in the Bible. He, uh, to tell somebody else a secret is to betray them. Um, I betray my feelings um, of anger by uh, shaking. 
as I argue with him. Um, to alternate is to switch sides. Complicit with her exploit. Oh my god, this hard word. Complicit. Let's look up complicit. I can't explain that. Complicit. We must complicit is involved. an adjective. Involved with others in an illegal activity or wrongdoing. Like, um, complicit. Organized crime is complicit. Um, or he, oh, sorry, people are complicit. It, it looks like um, a complicit describes a person. The gang members are complicit. So let's keep going. Um, exploitation, that's a pretty big word. I love that word. Exploitation is um, to take advantage of somebody. Let's use that one. That's the most common one that you're, gonna, you're actually going to see in real life. Um, all right, so exploitation, to exploit, means to take advantage of, or uh, the act of taking advantage of somebody. Um, so you can say, like, um, slaves were exploited by being overworked and um, not compensated. Exploitation of the weak is a huge problem. Exploitation of the weak is a big problem worldwide. Okay, Marcos. Hmm. <laughs> that one is hard. Let me come up with something. I exploit my company by stealing from it. Okay. Uh, his goodwill to help others were exploited by the bad people? <laughs> was. Uh, his goodwill. So was is describing goodwill. So it has to be his goodwill to help others was exploited by the yeah. people. He was used. Yeah, good. All right, Rafa. Prostitution is a, a dangerous kind of women exploitation right now in the world. Right. Prostitution is a dangerous kind of what? Exploitation. Women exploitation. Uh, exploitation of women in the world. Prostitution is a dangerous kind of exploitation of women in the world. Okay, good. Okay, next one. To betray. To betray means like uh, to endanger um, or to reveal. So um, my... Um, my, uh, you can say, like, I tried to play it cool, but my trembling lips betrayed my, my true feelings. Okay, Marcos. Hmm. Well, he was not expecting to be betrayed by his best friend. Oh, good. He was he was not he was not expecting to be betrayed by his best friend. Excellent. Good. Okay. And Rafa. I was betrayed by my nurse at the match. I was betrayed by who? By my nurse. By my nurse. By my nerves at nerves. the match. Good. Very good. Okay, so next word we're going to use is, let's see, okay, complicit. Let's actually use that. It's a difficult one, complicit. Okay. Um, so complicit, involved with others in an illegal activity. So let's see. Um, the teenagers are... Um, Complicit 
in the um, crime in which an autistic child was attacked and murdered. Um, here's another one. Here's another example. Um, I hope we are not m mistaken as complicit in this robbery. Okay? Marcos. Hmm. He said he would not be complicit with those acts. Complicit with those acts. Good. Very good. Okay. He said he would not be complicit with those acts. Okay, Rafa. Rafa? Um, my friend was complicit in the robbery last week. My friend was complicit in the robbery last week. Excellent. Okay, guys. So that's it. That's it. Um, those are your new words. Hope you guys have a good day. You Bye. Too. Bye. See ya. Take care. Thank you. Bye.